NXL A-Level Maths, Pure Paper 1, October 2021, Question 7. Circle C has equation x squared plus y squared minus 10x plus 4y plus 11 equals 0. We need to find the coordinates of the centre of C and the exact radius of C, giving our answer as a simplified third. So let's change the equation that we've been given into the format of a circle equation. So here's our equation. We've got x squared minus 10x. So that's going to give us x minus 5, all squared. We've got the minus 5 that would be squared there. So we take away a 25, just so we keep that part of it equal to x squared minus 10x. We'll do the same thing with the y squared. So it's plus 4y in the original equation. So we know our brackets have to be y plus 2, because then we get the two lots of 2y. We're going to take away the 2 squared, so take away the 4. And then we've still got that original plus 11 on the end. Moving those spare numbers over to the right, we get that x minus 5 squared plus y plus 2 squared equals 18. We can now use this to find our coordinates. So our coordinates are the x and y values that make the brackets equal to 0. So the centre must be 5 and minus 2. The radius is the square root of the number on the other side. So our radius is root 18, which is a simplified third taking the 9 out is 3 root 2. The line L has equation y equals 3x plus k, where k is a constant. Given that L is a tangent to C, we need to find the possible values of k, giving our answers as simplified thirds. So we know that the line and the circle are meeting, so let's substitute our equation for L into the y in the equation for the circle. So we've got x squared plus 3x plus k all squared minus 10x plus 4 lots of 3x plus k plus 11 is equal to 0. Expanding brackets is x squared plus 9x squared plus 6kx plus k squared minus 10x plus 12x plus 4k plus 11 equals 0. Collecting together our like terms gives us that 10x squared plus 2 plus 6k lots of x plus k squared plus 4k plus 11 equals 0. Now, if we were to solve this for x, this would give us the x-coordinates of any points where the line and the circle intersect, and these would be in terms of k. But as we know that L is a tangent to C, the circle and the line can only meet at one point. So thinking of our quadratic formula, the only way to get exactly one answer is if the b squared minus 4ac part is equal to 0. So we're going to put them in using our 2 plus 6k is b, 10 is a, and the k squared plus 4k plus 11 is c. That will give us 2 plus 6k, all squared, minus 4 times 10 times k squared plus 4k plus 11. That's equal to 0. Expanding the brackets, we get 4 plus 24k plus 36k squared, minus 40k squared, minus 160k, minus 440 equals 0. This comes together to make minus 4k squared, minus 136k, minus 436 equals 0, and dividing through by negative 4 gives k squared plus 34k plus 109 equal to 0. You can now solve this whichever way you like, so completing the square quadratic formula, up to you. I put it into the quadratic solving function on the calculator, and this gives answers of k equal to minus 17 plus or minus 6 root 5. If you've enjoyed this video, remember to subscribe to the Doing Maths channel to keep up to date with all the latest releases.